The Gen Zero One Santorini from Akko made me enjoy budget keyboards again. This keyboard was sent to me by Akko themselves for my honest review, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. This keyboard starts at a price point of $120. This is a fully aluminum keyboard with gasket mounting FR4 plate a really unique foam system and it is tri-mode connectivity so you get a lot for your money. And before we continue I just wanted to say if you do like keyboards or want to see any more keyboard content in the future please consider subscribing as that would help out the channel a lot. Inside the box you get the keyboard itself, very nice thick straight cable, thankfully it's not a coiled cable, the 2.4 hertz dongle and the manual. Now unfortunately there is no slot for the 2.4 hertz dongle which is something I always stress in every keyboard review that I do and I really hope a lot of these keyboard manufacturers will catch on and do that. But as you can tell the main selling point of this keyboard is the design and the aesthetic it's going for. It's very fun, it's very different and it has some really nice artwork on the keycaps as well. The only downside I'd say design wise is I'm not a massive fan of the font but I can definitely see how it fits into this theme. The spacebar, enter key, right and left shift keys all have amazing artwork on them and look very nice. And I think when it comes to pre-builds, I want to go back to that, you know? A lot of the pre-built keyboards that I've reviewed in the past have been super clean, but it's always fun to just have something very different and it's obviously not afraid to go and do things outside of the box. Now the switches in this are the Aqua Rosewood switches. This is a Dye Sub PVT Cherry Profile keycap set and because it is Cherry Profile, the hot swap sockets are south facing. If you're into RGB, this also features that as well. Now. The most interesting part about this keyboard has to be their sound dampening structure. This keyboard definitely sounds like it has PE foam in it and I was very curious because usually a lot of PE foam keyboards sound similar but not this one. It sounds very unique and that is because it has an extra sheet called the PET film which sits right above the PCB and then above that is that PE foam, the plate foam and the plate. Here's a quick sound test so you guys can hear how it sounds. So like I said before, the sound signature is very unique compared to other PE phone keyboards and I just like how marbly this keyboard sounds overall. This does feature an FR4 plate like I mentioned before that does have flex cuts which is usually something I'm not a big fan of but I think it works in its favor here as because this keyboard is filled with a lot of foam it definitely requires some extra help in the flex department which those flex cuts deliver on. Another nice feature this keyboard has is the fact that the case is just one solid piece of aluminum. So you don't have to worry about running into any issues with ping or having to do the force break mod because it's just one solid piece. Honestly the only real downside I can see about this keyboard is the fact that it comes with plate mounted stabilizers but I do know some people prefer them and they are really nicely lubed. But overall, I think this keyboard has a lot going for it. It looks nice. It's very fun to type on. The aesthetic is very fun as well. Akko really knocked it out of the park. And if you are interested in this keyboard, I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below. But let me know what you guys thought about the Akko Gen 01 Santorini in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.